Hello! Today I thought I'd show you how to make a block that's called Clay's Choice. It is a traditional block and I've made a small quilt here using it. Um, I've actually used four blocks in this quilt. So the block itself is just one quarter of this. So it's got these four coloured corners and the little pinwheely thing going on in the middle. It's a block I've always liked. Um, I can remember coming across this block very early in my patchworking career, but I don't think I've ever actually done anything with it until now. So I just thought I'd show you quickly how to make one of these blocks. I've, I've made it up using two and a half inch squares and the two and a half inch squares that I've cut from some other fabric. And I have done a, a video, a quilting tip and technique number 141 that shows you how to do the cutting in case you're needing to see that. Um, so what we're going to do is show you how to make this block in these colours because it's kind of easy for me to refer to. And to do that, we're going to use the two and a half inch squares and we need three colours and we're going to need to do eight squares of each of the three colours. So I've chosen for my main background colour to be white, so I've got a pile of eight squares of that. My colour that's got the solid corners is my blue, is going, I've got eight squares of that. And my other little pinwheel turning that I've got is this sort of grey colour and I've got eight squares of that. Um, and so I'm just going to show you how I, I go about this. This block will measure eight inches finished. So, um, well, it'll actually measure eight and a half inches and when it's sewn in, it'll be eight inches because of your seam allowance. So with your background colour, the white in this case, put four of those to one side and also your colour that you've got the solid squares in the corners, pop four of those to one side and the other four we're going to use with the eight of these grey ones. Now I have already done a little bit of preparation so I've used some of them but I'm just going to show you what I'm doing because we're, we're creating the half square triangles I thought we'd do it with these same size squares so what we need to do is draw just with a pencil, this is a mechanical pencil that I use and I like to draw on the back of my square usually the lighter coloured fabric but whichever one you can see on straight through the diagonal so from point to point just a little line that I can see there and then I'm going to slide my ruler across and I've got some markings in on my ruler that are half an inch in from the edge and I'm going to lay those over the top of that line that I've just drawn and draw another line which will end up being half an inch away so I'll just do it on this square as well just to go through it again so diagonal line right through point to point and then another line half an inch away so place a half inch marking on top of that line and draw another line so that I've got two lines that are half an inch apart this is because we're really only needing this bigger area and we will cut away this and so we're just going to do an extra line of sewing so that we can use that if we want to later rather than perhaps it just being wasted so then I'm going to pair up so we need to pair up um, the two colours, the blue with the grey, you need to make four pairs like that. I've got two pairs there. And also the white or the background with the grey, we need four pairs of those. So we'll pair those up so that you can see the line. Then I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to draw, sew on my drawn line. And I'm going to chain piece these four bits going through. So right on that sewn, sorry, on that drawn line, we're sewing. And rather than take each one out and stopping and starting, I'm just going to feed the next one in. And continue on with these ones as well. Remember, there's actually four of each of these. But I've already done a couple. So just so that you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, so that's the end of those ones. And whilst they're still attached, or you can cut them apart if it's easier, if they're getting a little bit tangled. Now I'm going to come back and sew on that other drawn line. And then just feed that next one in so that it goes onto that drawn line. So we're going to have two rows of sewing half an inch apart so we can see yeah, not so painful 
And I'm just going to snip those apart. And now we're going to, to trim away the smaller triangle area because we don't actually need that at the moment. But I just thought it was a good way to use the fabric rather than wasting it. So now I'm going to lay my ruler with the quarter inch line sitting right over the, the longer sewn line, that full diagonal one. And I'm going to cut quarter of an inch away. So really halfway between your two sewn lines we're cutting. So I'll do that on all of these. It's quite fun to, to go through and look at some of the traditional blocks I feel and perhaps do them in today's fabrics. It gives them a bit of a contemporary look. You can completely change the colour lights, darks and get a quite different look. So what I've got now is my half square triangles which I'm just about to press and then we've got these little ones. We don't actually need these ones for the block but as I said they will come in handy um, for some other project and rather than just have loose triangles floating around it seemed to make sense to me. So you could press them um, and trim them if you wanted to or you can just give them to a friend if you don't want them but that we, we don't need them for this block. But however these larger ones we do. So what I'm going to do now is press them and I'm going to press into the grey each time and that way the seams are all going to sit just where I want them for joining the block up. So we would have four of these of each colourway. Today I'm just showing you on the two. And so now I'm going to pull out my sneaky ones that I've already done. The triangles that we're keeping for later. So I'm going to lay my block out ready for sewing it together. It's not essential to do this but I find that it's probably easier in the long run to do it this way. So I'm going to do my little uh, pinwheel in the centre in the hope that I've got everything in its right place. And then this little one here, and you can start to see that it's making that nice bigger sort of pinwheel type blade coming up there. Oops, something's gone wrong here. There it is. And then our other background one. So that's going to be what the block looks like. I'm going to sew those up. Um, now I'm going to sew them in rows, so initially just in pairs, and I can chain piece those through. I'll show you how I do that. So I'm picking up the first pair, folding, flipping one over, and again with my quarter inch seam. And I can just chain piece, because I've laid it all out, I can now just pick the next pair up and come back and do that. So I would probably continue on adding the next piece, leaving my chain together, but then starting at, at the top end again where I started before, I can pick up the next piece and lay that onto the top one there, keeping an eye that things haven't twisted around because in a chain things can twist a little bit, have to be a little bit aware of that. Just open out the next one. Now these two when they go together you can actually do the little nesting of the seam thing here because the seams are going in opposite directions on that diagonal. And same on this one. Nest that seam just so that it sits in comfortably there. So I can now put that next row on. 
This is kind of a fun way to do You can do this with bigger blocks on quilts and things as well, this sort of piecing everything together into rows. So it's it kind of keeps it all in order for you. We hope if we don't turn anything around as we go. And, and lucky last goes on there. And so now we've got a whole block kind of joined together, but it's not finished yet. So if we open those four strips out, we can just make sure that our patches are sitting quite right. And you could now come along and join those together, except that nothing's been pressed. So what I like to do now is snip those rows apart. And I like to press my seams so that I can join those little rows up. So what I do Next is I'll press all the seams on this top row one way. So all, oops, turn that iron on. All going away from me. And these ones, because I'm going to nestle those seams up there, I'm going to press the seams all going this way. So I'll turn that around to press it. And again, just lay those over as you go and press them down. So that the seams all go the other way, so that when you put that one back there, these seams are going that way, these seams are going that way. And continue on with that. And the last one, turn that one round, so that they're going. So now you, you should have seams going that way, that way, that way, and that way, so that when you come to meet, match those up, they'll all nestle in together. And so then it's just a, a matter of joining those rows. Um, and we're nearly done with the block already. It didn't take too long, did it? Oh, it's not finished yet. So this is a great way of using up some two and a half inch um, squares. If you put some you probably could do it in a multi-fabric block rather than just the three colours that I had. And now I'm just going to pop the next two in so that I don't have to keep stopping and starting all the time. And making sure that your seams are, are nestling nicely at the joints. those two rows, two double rows, we can join those two together. So that's how that they're going to go. So I'm going to flip that over. And again, those seams should be sitting just right for you to nestle them in there. way of using up two and a half as I said you could make of course the block a different size you would need to change the size of the, the squares that you're cutting but for an eight inch finished block it's a nice size it's nice size to handle and there's our block a clay's choice measuring eight and a half inch so an eight inch finished block and I just think that that's a great way to use up some fun fabrics I actually started just so that you know with some 10 inch squares because I was um, wanting to use some different some colors that match to make my four way so I've made four blocks all together to go in 
into this little quilt that I've made here. And so actually for my 10 inch squares, I've cut out my two and a half inch squares. And then from what was left, I've actually cut strips to make my binding so that it kind of all worked together. And then I've quilted it so that there really wasn't much left that's not quilted. Um, so that was just Clay's choice. I thought you might be interested just to have a little play uh, with that block at some stage. Thank you.